Hi there, Aquarius. Thank you so very much for tuning in. This is your mid-May reading. It will span approximately the 15th to the 30th of May. Let us see here, right up and out, the Hermit. <laughs> Overlaying the Magician in reverse. Overlaying the Death card in reverse. Overlaying the Six of Pentacles upright. Overlaying the Five of Swords upright. Overlaying the Emperor upright. Lots of major arcana here for you, Aquarius. And there's another stack that popped out here, and it's faced by the Two of Pentacles upright. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse. The Four of Pentacles in reverse. The Fifth Major Arcana card, the Hierophant, in reverse. And the Five of Swords in reverse. Okay. Very interesting sequences of numbers here for you, Aquarius. Something about a travel ban. Something about a tra something about travel. Something about um, um, uh, going around the mountains. Something about needing to reroute, take another path. Something that uh, was unforeseen as well, perhaps. Okay. Ace of Cups, upright, Eight of Wands. Okay, we'll get to it. Also clarifying a strategy, Aquarius, I'm getting that for you, getting that for you. Absolutely, maybe in regards to finances. It's almost like something may have gone awry and it's like, oh, now I need to, now, now, I, now I need to recollect. I'm also getting recollect something. Need to re recollect something, recollect my bags, maybe something that has to do with, and it's interesting because it's travel and it's, um, it's uh, something about um, strategizing. So, Aquarius, when I was um, meditating on your on your energy before I turned on the camera, I was especially drawn to my clear crystal quartz. Okay, and. What fell on the ground was my moss agate, which speaks to finances, which speaks to sort of the pentacles sort of um, uh, element, right? Earth, material, tangible world. You have a lot of pentacles here, a lot of pentacles here. And the very apex of your spread is the daughter of pentacles. So, so, and your theme, the three of pentacles in reverse. So something you may feel a little bit like you are on some bit of a shaky ground. I will also say this, you have the ace of pentacles in reverse and the deep pass. Aquarius, Aquarius. And I keep wanting to say Virgo. Okay. And the hermit is Virgo's card. Something about Virgo energy, it feels very prominent here. Um, almost like intertwined even. Okay. Um, but I, I was I was going to say I was especially drawn, right? To, to, clear, to clear crystal quartz. So it's almost like you, I'm feeling you may need to gather your thoughts and 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 um, hunker down and, and strategize, right? Like plan B. Like what are we going to do from here? Okay. Something about... Um, Yes, look, Aquarius. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look at these four cards in your theme. Three of Pentacles in reverse, Wheel of Fortune upright, the Devil upright, Ten of Pentacles upright. Lots of energy that regards the three-dimensional world, right? That which is material, tangible, physical, even, even sensory, right? Even sensory. So, but we see this closing out. We, we, we see this closing out. Okay, and I'm seeing this as an old way of doing things. Closing out this process. We were going to build, right, something about a mountain, Aquarius, something about a mountain, mountain land, mountain land. We were going to, let's say, build on this patch of, of land. We were going to set the foundation in so and so way. We realized something about that, right, is not um, the, maybe the best way to go about it. Not the best way to go about it. Ten of Pentacles dropping right there, right? Like, whatever that may mean to Aquarius, it's something about the closing out. And it flipped over right on the Daughter of Pentacles. So, right in your apex. A lot of Earth. Earth on Earth. Now, Devil, Capricorn's card, speaking of to its um, fullest extent, right? It's like ultra, ultra Pentacle energy here. Um very of uh, this this focus on materialism 
right? This focus on uh, the senses as well, okay? So there's something about needing to re-strategize a foundation, a game plan of some sort. And um, I'm hearing you were thrown into the thick of it. Like I was thrown into the thick of it. And it's almost like, it's almost like, um, like, um, oh, one second, Aquarius. I keep hearing, how are we going to do this? Like, how are we going to do this? There's this feeling of, um, 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 you're thrown into something. Okay. And it's almost like, it's like, it's like, now what? Now what, Aquarius? Got to go back to the drawing board. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. Now let's, let's get into the rest of the spread here. That's in your theme. That's in your theme. Deep past, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Recent past, Seven of Cups in reverse. Nine of Swords in your energetic pathway that led you to your current state, which is justice. Okay, speaking of that, clear quartz crystal energy, right? The strategy, intellectual mind needing to come to that stark clarity. What am I going to do now, right? What is it going to be now? Um, even what am I dealing with? I'm getting that. What am I dealing with? What am I working with? Nine of Wands, you pull two nines here. This is in your advice. Okay, and it just it just jumped over to this interaction here, these three cards, which are interestingly laid out um, in relation to one another. Ten of Cups in reverse and the Lovers in reverse. So interesting, interesting. The Lovers, I believe, was in your near future and the Ten of Cups is in your hopes and fears. So advice, okay having to do, having to do with this Ten of Cups and this lover situation. Okay, it doesn't have to be a relationship, we'll get to it, but lovers in reverse flying into the Nine of Wands. So absolutely right, there's this, there is this connective sort of energy that, that um, um, binds these three cards here. Okay. Now, final outcome, Ten of Swords in reverse. Environment is the daughter of pentacles upright. Energetic pathway that you're leading out with into the future is the five of wands in reverse. Okay. Okay, Aquarius. Let me tune in here for you. Lots of tens. Lots of tens, lots of nines. Eights. Okay. But again, right, it's interesting because because you're coming in with an ace, you're coming in with an ace of pentacles, and you're leading out with a ten of swords, which is a continuation of the nine of swords. Okay, so, and what I'm getting here is that there is this um, interlocking of energy between uh, the water element and the um, earth element, okay? And to a certain degree as well, especially so, the sword element, right? The air element, rather. So something about this um shift it's 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 like it, it's chain it's it's uh it refers for first and foremost to your career finances i do believe that i feel that whatever it is that you feel brings you a sense of security and stability but it's like through the process of of attaining that of of dealing with that the other parts of your being have been very much activated right it's like I'm not only going on a vacation, right? It's not only a physical move. It's like my emotions are invested in that vacation, right? It's like my finances are invested in that vacation. It's not just me moving my body and translocating, right? So it's like whatever this is, it's very much all-encompassing, okay, of your even personal transformation. I will say that. Now, let me tune in. Let me tune in for you. There is this desire... I keep trying to say Virgo, so Aquarius, okay, but you may want to watch the Virgo video, um, it is posted at, at this time of me reading, so, so you may want to check it out um, if you feel that there may be some crossover, but there is this um, desire, Virgo, duh, Aquarius, <laughs> check that video out, I'm feeling absolutely there may be some crossover, okay, Aquarius, I feel that for you. 
there is this ultimate, ultimate desire to strike out on your own and to restabilize yourself financially and in terms of the career that you pursue. Something about wanting to gain a foothold, gain grounding, but but not right in terms of being um, um, planted somewhere or planted in the ground, right? It's not that kind of stability. It's even the stability of changing, moving ground, because you know that the previous grounds that you were on were not stable. Okay, so we see flight. We see flight. We see the sort of crumbling almost of um, of, of a previous sort of even plan that was set in motion, okay, and realizing that's not going to do it, okay? It's, it, it's, it's time, right, to really hunker down and strategize how to get to this, right? This is the priority. It's to have this freedom of movement even with this inherent sense of stability, stability of self, right? Feeling like it's like this, it's like this Aquarius. It's like, I want to go on a vacation, right? Let's just say it's like an example of how this energy could manifest. I want to go on a vacation, I can either rent an, uh, an isolated suburban cabin somewhere, right, um, um, and, and spend weeks there, okay, or I can, right, um, get a backpack on and, and, um, and, and, and literally like a vagabond style, just make my way through the country and right, the mountain slopes, and it's, it, so it's like, it's like, do you want to be mobile? It's something about being mobile, right? It's something about um, feeling like I am making my progress. I am doing what I feel I need to do, but I'm not held down to whatever that is. I'm not bound to whatever that is, okay? Because if the grounds were ever to to not be stable, to to right, give to give. I I can I know that I can, right? I'm fully self sufficient. I got my backpack. It's all fully stocked, so I can move forward. Right, up and ahead, and I feel this is absolutely financial to a strong degree. Feeling like I've got like it's like piggy bank money, even I've got that piggy bank cushion. Okay, for me to be able to have this right, this ability to to move. Okay, so I'm thinking absolutely about travel movement. Okay, and where the restriction lies for you in that world now. The hermit, okay, has a lot of energy okay, behind it here. There is this focusing, it is focusing strategy work, fine-tuned strategy work, like punching, crunching numbers, okay, into the calculator. How can I get to this point where I am, I have this mobility and this freedom? And um, I'm hearing comfort and satisfaction as well. So the hermit, right, overlaying the magician and death, the hermit mirroring death, the Magician mirroring the Six of Pentacles, Five of Swords, okay. Now, there's a lot of fire energy, I will say that. There's a lot of fire energy coming through here as I'm feeling it for you. And right, there's this alluding to the flame. There's this alluding to the flame, even on this very hermit card, right? But the light above the shell of this hermit. It, 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 um, the feeling I'm getting here, Aquarius, is... is um, it's like through this whole process, yes, it's st strategic, right? It's a strategic workings of the mind. I'm also zeroing in on my kyanite crystal, speaking of the intellectual mind, but also speaking of the connection that we have with our intuition, that clarity as well, of that frequency. And so what I'm getting here for you, uh, Aquarius, is, most of Virgo again, is that, and I will say this, it may, right, you're being, you're being, um, a, um, it's almost like counseled to take a very Virgo-like approach in what you're doing right now. To be very descript, very, very detail-oriented, right? It's like every number counts, every penny counts. Got to see how it all comes together, right? Nothing, let, don't let anything go to waste. I'm also hearing that. Now, this light, right, on the top of this hermit's shell I feel it speaks to, yes, while you're taking this very almost cold, calculative approach, right? Matter of fact, seeing things for how they are, seeing what is, right, the realism of the, of the, of the story, okay? So that you can capacitate what is, right, your dream. 
this divine spark, this fire, this flame, this passion, this drive. That is what, right, is is providing the light, is is casting, right, um, uh, the, the uh, shadow even that surrounds you, right, that sets you in this state of ruminating on how you can make the dream possible. So, interesting Capricorn, ooh, not Capricorn, <laughs> Aquarius, if you know a Capricorn, if you have a Capricorn rising a sun or a moon sign, you may want to check that video out. You do have the devil in your reading, in your, in your theme, in your theme. So, and lots of finances here on the table. A Capricorn could be involved in the process, okay, could be a financiary, okay, um, even investment, right, almost like writing a business plan sort of energy, but um, regardless Aquarius, it's, it's, it's this, um, it's this, right, um, I'm hearing lock and grid, okay, I'm hearing lock and grid, but, right, it's like the magician is waiting for the hermit to do its, its nitty gritty, right, accounting, <laughs> so that they can uh, 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 do away with, with, with what they, um, with what does not serve them, right, after whatever it is that they have discovered needs to be done. It's like, okay, well, now that we know we need to move in this direction, it's time to close the chapter to that, to that world, to that way of doing things, to that dream even maybe, right? It's like, well, this this is dry, right? High and dry, something about an alternative, okay, left you out in the cold even perhaps. And so it's this, I, I see this as like two partners coming together, thinking really deeply about what is, I'm getting a strong investment vibe, okay, strong investment vibe, if you guys are looking for venture capital, it's like that kind of thing. Did one alternative, right, uh, um, not pan out the way that you had expected, okay. So this is the re-strategizing that is taking place um, after that re realization. Now, right, this magician is looking over the death, ca death card at the Six of Pentacles, upright, upright. And it's almost like, right, it's like the magician is looking at the hermit. It's like, come on, come on, dude, like, let, let, let's punch your numbers. We gotta, right, we, this is what we've got to, um, 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 I'm also hearing get our hands on. This is, this is the oasis land. Something about this is very desirable and has been, I'm, I'm getting, it's like that, it's a dream and it's the manifestation, it's the manifestation, okay, of the implementation of this fire, of this flame, of this drive, of this spark. And you hope that the implementation of this idea, even this could be an idea for what it is that you want to create, you feel that um, it will ultimately lead to something extremely fruitful and you have you have your your heart your soul your mind your body everything every part of your being set on accomplishing that okay but there's something about this this fire here it's like it, this may even be an algorithm okay to which you feel that you can get to this point now but transformation right is like sandwiching is is um is sandwiched in between this dream and this magician like energy so something needs to be uh, moved through and that's what this process is speaking to okay now it's interesting because you're going from a six of pentacles to a five of swords and then you're going to the fourth major arcana which is the emperor so four five six fascinating here um okay now now and what's very interesting is that you have the magician, which is one, and you have the hermit, which is nine, which equals ten. So absolutely, I'm, this this may be a pair. Okay, I'm getting like counterparts, counterparts, right? You're you're the brain. I'm the I'm the uh, um, the actor. Something about like the actor. You write the script. All right. I'm gonna perform it. So something about these energies. They're very much conducive and working together, um, but they're also very, very different. And of course it could be your own, your very own energy. Um, I almost said Capricorn again, Aquarius. <laughs> now, something about finances, something about finances, something about financial investment. Okay. Um, it's very interesting because when I said that, like three, um, 
calendar notifications popped up on my computer at that very moment when I said investment. So it may be time, right, to start seeking out other forms of investment. It may be time to um, absolutely, right, start entertaining other options as well. Okay, I'm getting that. Now, aha, what I'm getting here is for a number of you, for a number of you, there may be someone in your midst who you feel who you feel uh, uh, um, can contribute to the growth of whatever this project is that you have in mind, and they're almost like they're almost like unattainable. They're almost like unapproachable even, and they're very very um, well versed and well known in their industry in their craft. Okay, and it's almost like you know that you've got to approach them. Okay. To, because they are, in, in a way, you feel the answer to whatever this um, a dream is, right? It's almost like, if only we could just get like them to see our vision, I know they will because they, they understand it, they get it, right? Look at this blazing moon here. It's the same sort of color as these pentacles. It's like, they get it, they get what you're trying to do. Right? They feel it, they understand it, and they have the resources to contribute to it. And it's almost like we have to somehow make our way through the door, right, into their office. It's like that's the kind of feeling I'm getting for you, okay? It's like this bursting through with this one sword, right? Like, here we are, and this is our plan of action, and this is what we want to do. This is our dream, right? Like, take us in. Take us under your wing kind of thing. And um, and I'm getting that if you are going to do that, it behooves you to focus on the passion that you have for whatever this, whatever this dream is that you have and what you hope this can grow into, right? Okay, now... Ultimately, the goal is to be financially independent, right? Even if you're, it's about investment, Aquarius, even if it's about investment, it's like we want the investment so that we can, so that we can fly, so that we can, so that we can uh, produce and, and explore more, right? More lands so we can build, it's almost like a franchising so that we can build another, another, um, uh, uh, um, I'm hearing expedition. Okay, something very, very, very uh, adventurous for you here, Aquarius, right? It's like seeking out, okay, a, a land, seeking out other places to build a foundation upon. And again, you need this freedom. You need this freedom of motion to do that, okay, to stabilize. Now, yes, because look, Two, eight, four, and again you go four, five. So, 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 so. It's like this, Aquarius. This is like the knight in shining armor, okay, energy. Like, I need, like, like I'm just putting it in, in, this, um, in this way of this example of an investment. I feel it applies to a number of you. We come forward, right, asking for XYZ amount, right, of investment. It's ultimately, right, so that we can achieve this, right? But it's not just about achieving this state of feeling like we have the emotional, uh, the emotional, also perhaps emotional cushion, emotions tied to finances, a sense of security, stability. But really, first and foremost, right, as I'm feeling it for you, take it as you will, financial stability, okay? It's not just so we feel that, that freedom, okay, of leg room. It's ultimately, ultimately, right, the echo of this capability is the ability to, to, like we said, stabilize, right, eight of pentacles, really hunker down and be able to, to uh, uh, create even more with what we have and with what we've had, right? So it's not just about up and out, right? It's about, it's, it's, it's inverted. It's like, right? So it's not, a, it's not for the matter of freedom, Aquarius. I'm getting that. It's really so that, right, you have more um, room so you can feel comfortable in the state of, uh, uh, of working even. Okay, so it's like if you're asking for a raise, right, I feel it behooves you to 
focus on, on, on bringing forward, right? Almost like in chapters. This is what I need. I need to ultimately feel like I have this breathing room, okay? So that I can feel, right? Uh, something about creative comfort. Creative comfort. I can have the leg room to create independently, right? And um, within my own right. Within my own right. According to my own personal philosophy of how I think that, right? I should create. And to feel like I can do that. I can do that. I have this creative legroom. Now, so what I'm getting is focus on what this, right? Where this butterfly can fly and what it can do in those places. Now, you have the Hierophant shouting over, shouting over at this Four of Pentacles, right? Um, and the Seven of Swords right behind it. Okay, now let me tune in here for you, Aquarius. If this is a negotiation, Aquarius, you are, I feel it's a negotiation for num a number of you, but you are, um, you, you know what you're going to do from this stage on. If, if you, you reach this stage, it's like you have your plans set in motion. Okay. And um, but I feel that you're not laying all the cards on the table. Okay, I am feeling that. I'm feeling that it's almost like, um, it's like, it's like, let's, let's, um, mm, let's disseminate our information once we know even that we're at this stage. Okay. And, um, it's interesting because you got the four and the five, higher font, and the four of pentacles. So this could be someone, this could be someone who you're thinking of bringing in on your project, okay, who you feel is somewhat um, of a council, right, who, uh, um, but it's, I'm getting like a surprise feeling, okay, it's almost like, it's almost like, it's like, it's like this, it's like a company that gets taken over and once they get taken over, bought out or whatever, and the, the, the new owner, the new company, um, Right, like, like, uh, almost um, brings in their own personnel. Okay, and so I feel for you that it's almost, it's kind of like that, that kind of feeling where it's like we have plans. Well, I have plans on how to re-strategize once we ha we are able to get to that point. Okay, now. There has been a lot of thinking. I'm talking like extreme Virgo energy. Okay. Lots of thinking. Lots of thinking of alternatives, options. Now, you have two aces, ace of cups, ace of pentacles. Something about this whole process has been draining, draining in some kind of way. You're ready for this new beginning and you feel that it's going to come by way of the shakeup, changing environment. I'm getting so strongly um, investment for a number of you. Okay. It's like once we have this, once we get, once we get this... Um, this bid, I'm hearing bid. That's when, right? We can we can start anew in this new direction in such a way. So sorry, Aquarius. Let me just put that on silent. We can, um, right? We can we can start anew. Right? There's a there's a refreshment of some sort. There's a rejuvenation of some sort. Again, right? It's not just about the pentacle. It's also about the other um, aspects of your being that are affected by way of this change. So I'm getting that you've been seeking this for quite some time. You want to start on new grounds. You want to pave, pave the land, right? And start reconstructing something here. Um, seven, of, seven of cups in reverse. Very interesting because you have an eight of wands right above. I'm getting that you could not even entertain the options yet until you had a final say, a final word on the progress of this, of this new beginning financially. I'm hearing like sum of money, lump sum of money. So something about, um, something about, right, awaiting the option, the needing to feel like it's financially feasible. So you stepped into the state of uh, seven of swords, right? Seven of swords. And it's almost like, oh, I know, right? We got it. We need this shakeup. 
something's got to change. And in to some to some degree, right? Is it out of my hands? Is it out of my hands? Right? And so it, it, it's like this this analysis paralysis. Lots of thinking, lots of thinking, almost to the point where it's like, what what am I even what am I seeing here? <laughs> right? It's like um, um, what am I dealing with? What am I working with? And, but it's interesting because you jump straight down into justice, which is ultimate, right? Clarity, ultimate clarity. So from the nine to, to justice, it's, um, and it's a nine and justice is number eight on in the major arcana. So lots of sequence here. Okay. I feel like you are, you are following some sort of structured regimented, uh, floor plan, like something about, uh, 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 structure, okay, that is regimented you're, and you're following suit. It could absolutely be contractual in some kind of way, okay, or corporate as well, right? If you're working, let's say, with a financiary, it's like you got to kind of, they have a roadmap. And so now is the time where, right, the decision will be laid, ultimately, where all of it, everything comes to this sort of culminating point, the standstill of, right, is it black or is it white? We're going left or going right? Are we moving to higher ground? Or, or, or are we... Right, going to wait it out. So you then move back into a nine in your advice, nine of wands. But what we see here is progress is movement. Is is um, um, I'm getting that if you're working with someone, work with them. Flow with flow with the go. Flow with the go. Go with the flow, right? Move, move um, in tandem together. Something about moving in tandem together, right? Cooperate, cooperate, right? Because you feel that that will lead you to um, some sort of light. Okay, it's a little mysterious. It's like, where are we going, right? But um, it's almost like a corridor-like energy. But it's, I'm feeling that, right, you, you feel like this is, this is kind of the only option that we have, right? And, and, um, and, and, and um, something about this justice energy is very directive, very guiding. Okay, um, now the lovers here in reverse, flying into the nine of wands. Absolutely, the feeling I'm getting. This is the feeling I'm getting. It's like I see you in another person, Aquarius, and um, you got two twos, two individuals on either side of this nine of wands. It's like you guys are like, are we going for this? Are we? Are we gonna? Are we gonna climb up this this uh, little staircase here? Right together, are we going in? I'm here. Are we going in? Are we pursuing it? And and I'm feeling that you may be feeling that this is our answer, but it's so it's like we've never done this. Even it's a very sort of it's a little unsettling feeling, right? It's like that feeling of like where are they taking us? Kind of feeling, but um, all right, where are we going? But ultimately, all energies are rerouting into this nine of wands, the lovers, right, flying into. So it's like you and this other person, I feel that you, um, you're being behooved to um, follow suit, follow guidance in some kind of way. But uh, always, always, Aquarius, right, um, tune into your personal intuition, okay, see it as you feel fit, it's a general reading. So... Something about following a course, following a course, rather than flying wildly, independently, just, right, the lovers flying wherever they want to go, just, like, you know what I'm saying? It's, they're like, okay, here we go. <laughs> Time to climb those stairs. Now, ten of pentacles, oh, not ten of pentacles, but I keep, right, this is interlaying of energy. Pentacles water, right, pentacles cups, ten of cups, in reverse, in your hopes and or fears. In reverse, in reverse, you have, you guys, how I see it, these two lovers, it's like they've been caring and they've been trying to fly with these buckets of water on their wings, and it's like through this whole journey, right, it's like, when are we going to set this pail down, <laughs> right, and have this feeling, just this emotional, this, this, this um, renewal, this renewal, right, this journey has, has just been so, has been drawn out, has been, um, has taken so very long, right? When can we uh, settle down? I'm hearing settle down emotionally as well, and <clears throat> so there's this um, there's this feeling um, of of almost I'm also hearing like a like a just a lightheartedness, a lightheartedness that you feel right. You will be able to to um, appreciate once 
do you feel this whole cycle comes to a close, right? Whole cycle comes to a close and I'm getting also birth, could be birth for some of you. Okay, I'm getting like a womb-like energy here, the breaking of the water. So you then step into the town of swords, Aquarius, and your final outcome, moving out into your uh, future here. Um, in reverse, in reverse, very interesting. And you have the nine of swords, you have the 10 of swords. And it's right next to the 10 of cups. So 10, 10, major closeout, major closeout. The 10 of swords is accompanied by this five of wands. They're marrying each other um, diagonally. Okay. And the five of wands, right, is the energy that you, that you um, step into as you are led into the 10 of swords, the final outcome. Now, let me tune in for you here. What I'm getting, Aquarius, is what I'm getting. I want to first, first, first move up to this Daughter of Pentacles in your environment. And what strikes me on this card is the rainbow that looms ahead. So similar to the lightning bolt strike. So similar to the colors that we see bind these three of pentacles. So similar to even the color of these strings on this wheel of fortune. And so similar to the color on this ten of cups. Even the color in the background of these two lover birds. And the figure eight on this butterfly of the two of pentacles. So there's something about this dream that's interlaced, interlaced, that you've been holding so steadfast to, right? It's like, it's like Wizard of Oz. We gotta get to the wizard, right? Like we've got, we've gotta make it. And we've gotta make it through the thick and the thin, right? Wherever this, this, um, this journey, right, uh, takes us, we, the lands that we must traverse to get there. It's like you, I feel this is you. I feel this is your energy. You're absolutely right. It's like, even, even if, right, it's like this analysis paralysis, Daughter Pentacles looking over at it, like, I may have been, right, losing, getting lost in the sense of this, this confusion of a perception, but I'm ultimately not losing my dream, right? It's like, am I losing my mind? I'm not losing my dream, right? It's like, whatever I'm put through, this dream is so real to me, so real to me. And I'm standing by it. I feel like this daughter Pentacles is standing by the rainbow, right? Like, like, um, like we're gonna do this, okay? I'm getting through thick and through thin, through thick and through thin. And this can that this can represent even you and uh, a, a group of people who you're working with, okay? Whatever this project may be, and I'm getting translocation. Whatever this translocation may be, okay? It it depicts the movement of all of you together. Now. Um, the Daughter of Pentacles has the Nine of Swords sandwiching her, as well as the Five of Sword, Five of Wands in reverse. Now, there, there could have been, right? Again, many alternatives. Which wand am I going to pick, right? Um, and I'm getting specifically as it relates to this magician, magician, right? Like uh, hermit, so sorting through the alternatives, sorting through the options. Which, which method are we going to to move with? to get to this six of pentacles, five, six, right? Lots of fives and lots of six, five of, five of um, swords, right? Are we going to make the final decision? Are we going to move with it, right? To approach that who we feel can contribute, right? So it's like the five and the five and the five, the hierophant, okay? I feel you're coming to a point of clarity with exactly what alternative you want to move with. And we're seeing that absolutely here with justice and the nine of wands. Okay. So, so making this decision was not easy. I will say that Aquarius, making this decision was not easy. You have maybe a lot of options on the table. Okay. But I feel that you're coming to the point of officially, officially making, solidifying your stance on it, what creative direction you want to move in, how we're going to do this, okay, for some of you, for some of you, you may be still in the process of closing out even, right, the final sort of um, little details, okay, that, um, right, this hermit is up at night focusing on, okay, 
Um, so for a number of you, I feel like it's going to be different, all right, to that end. Now, thank you so very much, Aquarius. I hope this reading was helpful for you. Please feel free to um, check out your rising ascendant or moon sign as well, as oftentimes those will provide you with further insights into your situation. I know, for example, I resonate a lot with my moon sign, even more than my sun sometimes. So it doesn't hurt to check it out. If you don't know your signs, you can click the link below in the description box that I provide and that will compute your signs for you. All right. Thank you so very much, Aquarius, yet again, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.